We'll next be concentrating on installing the headboard at the head. If the boat rope's sliding in the groove, we want to make sure the headboard, you leave enough of a gap so this can come out of the mass, usually about 3 sixteenths of an inch or so. We give you enough gap to slide that into the mass groove. But since we have slugs, we're going right up against the edge. We'll take the headboard and position it on the sail and then use a pencil and mark every one of the holes for the rivets. We're going to mark only this larger hole here. We don't need to punch two holes, just one. That's for the halyard attachment. To make that hole, Deb's going to use a large hole cutter. You could use a razor blade or something else. What I do is with my hot knife once I get that out and then I heat it and get the rest out but you can go ahead and just cut around it. If you have a hole cutter and it's not big enough you could stagger the hole cutter and make it larger. To punch the holes for each of the rivets you could use a hole cutter as Deb is doing here or you could use a drill bit and it will work just as well. Make sure the drill bit is slightly larger than the shaft of the rivet. We're going to use a steel sheet to turn this headboard over so that the rivet bottoms are facing the table. You may not have that, it's not necessary. You just need to do this on a hard surface like a cement floor. Then install the back plate of the headboard and then push each one of the rivets through with a nail or an awl. Make sure that each one of the rivets are, are uh, projecting through each one of these holes before you set any of them. Once they're through, then just use a riveting punch. We're using the Deluxe Snap Fastener installation tool, obviously without the base, to roll each one of these rivets over. You could use a standard riveting punch to do this as well. You want to move from one rivet to the uh, other rivet on the other side just as you would install lug nuts on a tire to apply even pressure. 